Um, but hey, I got you something. Got me a gift? Oh, I need to shave when I get home. Golly. What's up, friends? Uh, good morning. If you're in the morning or afternoon or whatever, it's morning here. It is a hot 9.02 a.m. and I mean hot and it's like 86 degrees already. I meet with a guy every week to get coffee. Same dude and I think it's really cool. I think it's really intentional for Christians and I think it's important for all Christians, uh, if you are one, to just find somebody that you know. Find somebody that you need to meet with who needs a little guidance. Pour into them, pour life into them, speak encouragement over them because that stuff is so important. So many people out there living day to day with no encouragement, they're living with no inspiration, no one to ask questions or look up to. So uh, I just encourage you, be that person. So I look forward to this every week. It's gonna be awesome. trying to eat some eggs before my midwife appointment, which I'm taking you guys to. I told y'all I needed to shave, I'm doing it. I'm getting tested for gestational diabetes today, so I just put this fresh test in a thing of water. If you're unfamiliar with gestational diabetes, I'll put a little definition on the screen, um, but the cause of it is pregnancy, and there's a chance that every woman could get it when they get pregnant, but I'm very low risk, but I still have to get tested. So I put 50 grams of glue. <laughs> 50 grams of glucose in a bottle, chilling it, and I'm gonna drink it on the way. And then she's gonna test me, we're gonna check on baby. And I can't wait to show you guys because I haven't showed you guys my mid midwife yet. And she's amazing. You always want my eggs. Some people probably think that's disgusting. They're like, why do you let your dog kiss you? You haven't had a true love of a golden retriever. You want one? Okay, here you go. Fun fact, eggs are actually really good for a dog's coat. So it makes their, their fur very shiny and it's good for their heart. On the way, Nick is coming with me, which I'm really grateful for that he gets to come to these appointments. Um, they're in-house appointments, so we actually don't meet at a like doctor's office or anything, so it feels super homey. Yeah, it feels like you're going over to a friend's house. Yeah, it feels so. like we're just chatting with her and getting to know her every time. So I have my glucose drink in here, and I need to drink it on the way there because she's gonna test me a few minutes into the appointment. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> There's 50 grams of sugar um, or glucose, and then the great thing about this packet is it's not like that orange drink that you always see that tastes disgusting. Um, it has crystallized lemon, lemon oil, lemon juice, organic peppermint leaf powder, and then the uh, non-GMO dextrose. So I chose like the, the healthier, healthier option. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see if it tastes like lemonade. Maybe I'll be surprised. I'm supposed to drink it in four minutes, less than four minutes. I don't know why. <laughs> but I just know I have to start. Oh man, I just spilled some on me. It's not bad, it tastes like lemonade. My midwife said if you actually think about it, like this drink, um, or just the glucose drinks are kind of like drinking a thing of soda because soda has so much sugar in it and you never think about it when you're drinking a soda or a lemonade, like Nick was saying on the way here. That's what it tastes like, wow. Not bad guys, so if you ever have to do this, don't be too intimidate, intimidated, intimidated. Uh, this is thefreshtest.com. So if you ever get the option to do like a better version of this, there's like no dyes or added stuff in it like a lot of the other glucose tests. So I have a minute left and I only have like one swig left. Our midwives. We here. We made it. It's super cozy. You can see babies like everywhere. <laughs> so you feel okay. like he kind of hangs out over here. So when you feel a lot of movements like that you would perceive as like he's kicking, where are you feeling that? Kind of like up here? Yeah. Okay. You, I mean, it's been taking the breath out of me lately. Yeah. So. Yeah. A so... deep breath or just a breath? <laughs> oh, well deeper than you can now. <laughs> Which probably sounds pretty good. Oh yeah, I can feel it. There's this baby right there. 
Of his booty? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, I've been like, I think his booty's been rubbing up against uh -huh. my sides, but uh -huh. I don't know. Well, and your uterus is a muscle, so it doesn't lay around in their limb for nine months, so sometimes you'll feel it get a little tight. And people think, oh, the baby's balling up, but it's really kind of like the uterus. So if it rises, it feels like he's poking out right there. It's wow. Yeah. And is his, his head facing here. in his, towards her he's back? He's looking into her left hip right now anyway. You could walk out of here and he'll do something different. But yeah. right now, he's looking into your left hip. His head is kind of more towards the right side with the back of his head over here. Oh, yeah. He's like, hey. hey. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah, and that's his back right there. Like is that. that like an okay position? Mm -hmm. It okay. is. Some people will tell you that the left is preferable because the thought is that maybe in labor the baby might make a shorter rotation as they come down. Yeah, that's what Julie was saying. Uh-huh. And Julie's big on that. She loves that left side and will give you exercises and things to encourage him to get in a good spot. So right now at this gestational age, he can kind of do whatever he needs to do. And then we hope towards the end that he picks a side. <laughs> gotten so big though that he like takes up the whole screen. Yeah, it's just like pieces of him. And then there's, do you see at the top is his spine? Yeah. Whoa, look at that. I like to see the little rib shadows coming down. So cute. The appointment with Janelle went great. Um, she always like eases our mind about everything, makes us laugh. I should I need know. Because I have hypertension <laughs> stage one. I need to do something. Yeah, his stress can definitely contribute to that but i'll know if i have the diabetes on diabetes. friday probably and you'll probably hear about it on instagram if i do i don't think that i do but she said that it can be kind of sneaky and some women just don't know until they're tested so. yeah right. right. i'll be fine i think i'm getting a cold sore that's not good how do hot women get cold sores we're about to get on a zoom call for a um, channel course that we've been going through. So we've been going through this YouTube course that if you know, been... you know jump starter Shout out. So Daryl Eves who is like a master genius pro at YouTube uh, He is leading like a group of 50 of us through how to rejuvenate and Learn new things about our channel and how to grow it and how to enrich the community here because we believe that you can never know enough even though over the years sure hit over a million subscribers but that really doesn't say much anymore and we just want to be better content creators so we're doing that right now but we're gonna get on this phone call <laughs> we'll be back looking but that's most not, running shoes aren't that's not what I need I need something comfortable and yeah they were marked down so they're really under budget what you got you got your jar of peanut butter oh my gosh are you trying to hide it from me <laughs> Nick just mowed the lawn our grass grows so fast <laughs> means he wants attention which he's not getting right now Get it out, get it out, Chelsea. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. This is pregnancy brain, oh my gosh. Okay, I know, I know what I'm gonna say. I just spent the last hour and a half, two hours, planning out all of our videos, like rough ideas, until a month, month and a half after I'm expected to give birth. I'll continue to update that as time goes on, but oh my gosh, he is being so bad. Literally, if you want your dog to like calm down, just give him some ice. Way better. So I have a plan for all our videos. It makes me feel amazing. We're about to get on our Patreon Bible study. We've already done our first opportunity for this week for our James study. And now we're doing the second one because we like to give people options. Um, if you want to join, link will be in the description. Okay, so we're about to go out to dinner, but before we do, uh, I actually got sent a stackable ring from 
the jeweler that I bought Chelsea's original wedding ring from. So it's D. Geller and Son in suburban Atlanta. And uh, they're just awesome. They took such good care of me when I went to them the first time and we've stayed in touch throughout the years. And so I'm actually gonna gift Chelsea this ring for her first Mother's Day. And uh, it's a stackable ruby ring and uh, I think it's super pretty. I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen photos of it. So I'm really excited for her to open it. What are you doing? Squatting. Kind of like which only I need to do a lot of squats. You're doing a great job. I put this hat on for the occasion. <laughs> Look like a little farm girl. Um, but hey, I got you something. You got me a gift? There's a lot of pressure on me right now. Open it. This looks like the exact box that my ring came in. It's from the same jeweler. Oh, really? Mm hmm This is so sweet. You want me another ring? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, that's so pretty. That's the shot. I don't, I don't know how to wear another ring besides my <laughs> wedding ring. What is this for? Like, why did you? So in that ring is the birthstone of our son. Oh. And so it's a it's a Mother's Day gift. So sweet. Do I, should I wear it next to my other one? Yeah, you can. I'm dazzled out. I'll have to do this for like all of our kids. <laughs> oh my well. gosh, that's so sweet. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. I never wear hats either. We're both wearing hats right now, so. <laughs> I'll I feel like that. I need to take it off in the house. Fun but seriously, that. thank you. Did you? Did they like help you with this and mm -hmm. stuff? Yep, they sent it for us. Oh wow. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he looked up at me. This could go for hours. Yeah. That was seriously <laughs> the best gift ever. I think we're gonna end the vlog here. Okay. We're about to go to Cracker Barrel um, and I'm so excited to have like another like just a ring to wear. I personally out of all like jewelry pieces I could wear I love rings just because they're so like dainty and I don't love like a, like too many accessories but this is beautiful like okay wow. Anyways I'm just gonna be thinking about that for a while but I hope you guys had a great um, Mother's Day to those who are soon to be mothers or who have grieved losses in the past or who are currently mothers. We're all just trying our best and I'm really learning so much about becoming a mom and technically I'm already a mom now that this baby's in my womb and it's just so crazy. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in this vlog and um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what else you want to see. And we'll see you in the next video, vlog. Deuces.